difference of who sees. Many people say that the truth is relative because everyone sees the truth in their own way. Was this true? For example, many would say this is a rectangle, others would say it's a circle, but if we look at it orthogonally, we have a cylinder. But we don't see the cylinder completely, but we can assemble in our minds its shape. And so we have the nullification of the view of a circle, or the view of a rectangle, as it is in fact a cylinder. Is the cylinder a circle? No. Is the cylinder a rectangle? Not. The cylinder is a cylinder. So the truth is not relative. Relative truth is a lie. And this lie is proportionally reduced to greater knowledge about what one seeks to know. In fact, no one has the ability to know the truth. But it cannot deny that the lie is proportionally reduced to the greater knowledge of the object. If the truth is the end of the reduction of the lie, then the further away from the truth, the greater the lie. Thus, a relative truth is a greater lie than a relative truth closer to absolute truth. Thus, Newton's law is more a lie than Einstein's universal gravitation. The human's goal is to choose the smallest lie. So you need to keep in mind which direction is an absolute truth. The safer an airplane is built the more in the direction of absolute truth it is in relation to less safe airplanes. Likewise, that the lie is smaller the greater the rationale. And the greater the lie, the greater the irrational concept. In this way, absolute truth exists, and we must seek the smallest possible concept of lie, getting as close to the absolute truth as possible. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website, news and detailed content can be found. With system of research and organization of text and video.